are all things Halloween. This is Hauntformer. And today, everyone, I am back to review the newest horror film by Sam Raimi. Well, I think he was like a producer of it. Don't Breathe. So this movie's get, been getting a lot of publicity uh, by online uh, news or, or like just reviews, basically. It's been getting a lot of publicity from people just, you know, telling each other about it. And I had to go see it. Uh, my sister saw it last week and I just saw it this week, tonight. So I wanted to get my review out about the film. Uh, going into this film, I knew a few things about it, but I didn't want to be completely spoiled because I knew there were some plot twists in it, which I will not give away in this review. Or maybe I will at the end. We'll see. Uh, so basically, this movie is a story of three teenagers. I think they're in their teens. Maybe they're in their 20s. Uh, who basically set out to rob this blind man's home. However, he has some interesting tricks up his sleeve. And... It gets very uh, disturbing at the end, to, to put it even lightly. Uh, the end of this movie is very, uh, I don't know if I'd say graphics the word, but it definitely is disturbing. And while I don't approve of it, you know, at all, it does have a good message at the end, uh, because if you know anything about me, you know that I love God, and it has a good message about the fact that God gives us our morals at the end, as you will see, because he uh, definitely has some issues, to, to say the least, I guess. Uh, but overall, uh, I like the character developments in this movie. I like the plot twists. Uh, this movie was so suspenseful, you guys. My heart kept beating. You're definitely going to be on the edge of your seat for this movie. This one is r like a, a heart throbber. Wait, heart throbber? I didn't mean that. I meant a heart stopper, really. Uh, it's just very terrifying scenes. Uh, it gets really quiet because, you know, it is Don't Breathe, so it gets really quiet in, like, the theater, and you're like, what's about to happen? Uh, but it's definitely pretty disturbing, and I would say that it is the scariest movie I've seen of this year. Now, the only issue I have with this movie, or there's a few issues I have with it, but my biggest issue is the fact that, yes, it's a, it's a pretty scary movie, but it is not so much entertaining, if that makes sense. What I mean is, take a movie that I would say I could rewatch, maybe like the Child's Play movies, or Crumpus, or something like that. It has more entertainment value to it. Whereas this movie, it's scary, yes, but once you see it, you already have experienced the sort of terror that you would when seeing it for the first time, and once you experience that you kind of lose the rest of the movie because the whole plot of the movie is trying to get away from this man per se so once you figure out the ending you don't really have to go back and watch it so this isn't a movie that i would necessarily go back and watch you know like for entertainment not like maybe crumpus or something just throwing out a movie that i would probably see a few times uh but like i said this movie overall is not not bad but it is pretty disturbing. I would say that if you're maybe definitely under the age of 13, I probably would not recommend going to see it. It is disturbing. There's some disturbing imagery, but I think that there could be a message found in this movie as well. So overall, I'm going to give Don't Breathe a 3.5 out of 5 skulls. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Hauntformer. And remember, of course, as always, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.